My name's Cathy Deaver Todd, um, and I'm the manager of the assets group um, here at Tararua District Council. And our department is responsible for managing all the infrastructure assets of the community and working in partnership with the Alliance to make sure that infrastructure projects and um, roading projects are coordinated. And when I mean infrastructure, I'm talking about water, wastewater, stormwater, our parks and reserves, our housing, our community buildings and facilities. So quite a big portfolio we manage. The most important issue that we need to face over the next 10 years is improving our, the environmental quality of our waterways through improving our treatment um, plants and our wastewater plants in particular. And um, that's to meet increased environmental standards required of us by the Horizons Regional Council. And so the projects that we intend to do over the next 10 years to address this are really um, in our um, commitment to the uh, River Accord, in which all the councils in the location are looking after the health and the wellbeing of Manawatu River. We're going to work in partnership with Horizons to look at ways in which we can manage and improve uh, the standard being produced by our wastewater plants. Now, that's going to be quite costly and um, we're working with Horizons and um, helping us to put together funding applications to the Ministry uh, for the Environment to work with that, but also working with our farmers and our local communities to see how collaboratively and together we can do this. That's probably going to take quite a bit of the, uh, the first five years of the next LTP. There are two other significant issues that our department is facing. The first of those would be our ageing infrastructure. So a lot of the assets of this community were built many generations ago. They were paid, um, paid for by um, perhaps bigger communities and populations than we have currently. And we need to really work over the next 10 to 20 years to replace a lot of these assets. Now, for those particular assets, funding is going to be a big issue in terms of where we get that initial funding from. And we're going to have to work with our community and ask them to make with us some very difficult decisions about perhaps disposing of some of those facilities so we can afford others. The, um, the third thing that we are looking at, or the, or the second um, issue that we have, is in relation to our um, water projects and our water schemes and in, in terms of the resilience of these schemes for our communities. So at the moment, some of our schemes don't actually have much water storage and we will need to again work with our communities uh, to address those issues. For example, um, the Woodville Water Scheme, we draw water from an open water source and when that water source drops low, we, we hit periods where the residents of Woodville don't have enough uh, water for their daily living. So we're looking at options in particular in Woodville um, around increased water storage. Now that may be a reservoir, um, that may be a, a bore, we need to explore that. Um, the first year of the LTP will be the installation of the second bore at Paiatua, and that will provide us with a secure supply for the residents and the industries of the Paiatua and surrounding areas. There is one other, and that is the, in relation to the Ikitahuna landfill. So the landfill at Ikitahuna, we've only got a resource consent for that site until 2017. We all know that the Ikitahuna community hasn't really grown, and um, one of the things that we'll be looking at doing is, in the first year of the LTP, preparing a business case around the options. Do we close the Ikatuna landfill when it comes to the end of 2017 and perhaps put in transfer facilities? Do we apply to Horizons knowing that we will have to have improved environmental standards to extend that landfill or to build on another site? And we really need to um, also think about options about, well, actually, do we actually not even provide uh, waste transfer or waste disposal facilities in Ikatahuna and perhaps um, work with the community to use a commercial operator. The, the council is really quite open to looking at all options, but the, the issue for us that we need to address is that that landfill is due to expire in 2017, and for us that's not very far away in terms of our planning cycle.